Okay, so um, I did find a way to upload my videos, so um, now I can get them off of the stupid camera and um, get them on so I can make continue to make more. And um, um, so this is a vlog about me, and my name is Erin, and um, this is my third video, hopefully. Um, if I can, if everything works out, and you know, I should have the two up, and this will be the third, and they'll all be up within the same week, and of course, you know, I just made the, the new profile on YouTube, and I have no subscribers, and wow, I'm turning off my phone. I, um, I, I want to be able to reach out to people, you know, I, I have spent a life with illness, and and it has affected me in, in many ways, and you know, <coughs> growing up was really hard, especially trying to hide certain ones, and not wanting people to be a part of that, and feeling alone, feeling unaccepted, and then, you know, now that I'm older, you know, I'll, I'll be 29 at the end of the year, you know, I, I, don't, I don't care anymore about what people think about me, but I do care about people, and, and um, I, I just want people that, you know, are going through similar experiences to feel like, yeah, I don't want them to feel like I did. Like, I just was so alone. And back when I was growing up, I didn't have YouTube. I didn't have really a way to reach out. You know, music was, like, what I did. And I'm a big rock music fan. Alice in Chains. Um, so, I, and which I, I miss the the 90s and the music that was given to me at that time. And I'm still, I still look to that today. And and that's a, a big thing for me now that I'm older and um, through the worst I'm a positive person and you know I get frustrated and sad and let down but I'm still a positive person I still like I, I, I look at the pain in the face and I'm just like you know you're screw you you're not gonna beat me you know you can beat me down but I'm gonna get back up and I'm I'm gonna keep swinging, you know, even if I miss, you know, I'm, I'm gonna keep fighting, you know, every part of me may hurt, and I may struggle just to get up to, you know, take care of myself on some days, but, you know, it's not gonna beat me, and I think it has beaten a lot of people, and I know, I know it has, and people have committed suicide over the depression that can come with the pain, and it, whether it's fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue syndrome, or whatever y you have is going on with you that, that is giving you pain and illness, no matter what you have, you know, if it's affecting the quality of your life, especially if you are someone who didn't always have it, that just had dreams, and even me, you know, having a problem my whole life, I have, I have tons of stuff that I haven't even gotten to yet, that I want to, and I'm still gonna keep fighting to do, like, things that I want to do, I'm gonna hopefully do, but I'm not gonna give up, you know, I've wanted to, I've maybe tried, you know, my younger, stupider days, but, you know, you, you try and, and learn from the things that happen in your life, you know, when things are worse, and your, your, your body is, is screaming, like, the pain, when the pain is loud and you can't even comprehend the world around you and you know there's only one way to end it that's it if you if you end it that's that's it it'll be over and then there's no what ifs there's no what if there's a cure for this there, or what if it is better what if I can even if it's far uh, a far away date from now there's no way of knowing if you're gonna ever have that because you gave up and sometimes you just gotta scream through the pain. You just gotta just, yeah, yeah, it hurts. And even at my worst now, being the positive person that I am, like I'm just like, I don't want to feel this 
anymore. How, how can you get it to stop? And pain medication can only do so much, especially you know when you've been on them for 11 years or, or more, like I have, you know. And and there's a lot of people that struggle with that in itself, you know, with addiction and stuff. Or people resort to drinking, and um, that's just going to make the pain. This is just going to feed into your illness, and you got to fight that. If you're someone who has to rely on pain medication. Don't let it run you, and I know how hard that can be, but it, it is going to feed into that pain. You have to have control of it, and if you ever feel like you don't have control, find someone that loves you, find someone that you trust, a friend, family, anyone, just tell them to watch you get help in any way you can because you're not helping yourself. You think you're getting rid of the pain and it's going to cause a lot more pain so you're going to want to take more of it. So definitely try and find a balance and control and it's, you know, it's a very hard thing to do. It can be a very hard thing to do but just don't give up. You know, I, I am at my worst right now with everything and if you've seen my first two videos you know a little bit and, and hopefully give you more info as I go along um but um and uh, see I, I just lost my train of thought that's called fibro fibro fog and I have a horrible memory and if you're someone with fibromyalgia or chronic fatigue, fatigue syndrome or any of that you know exactly what I'm talking about but just keep kicking ass out there, you know, you never know what's going to happen, and just, you know, some of us aren't lucky enough to have somebody in their life to take care of them, but, you know, and that's where you, you got to really, you know, be, you know, if, if you're a person with this illness and you, you treat people poorly or you take it out on them, then people aren't going to want to be around you. You know, and I know it's hard to keep positive all the time, but, you know, and it's okay to break down. Don't think you can't have your moment of weakness. Break down and then come back stronger. But don't give up, you know. I, the things I'm going through that I've gone through in this new 2011, I just, I don't know what to do, but I'm not going to give up because I just... I have too much that I want to live for, and and if you are someone who feels like you don't have anything, look for, no matter how small, look for something, something that you can hold on to in your darkest time. And so I'm going to end this video, and um, hopefully uh, the first one's uploading now. And for like a six minute video, it's supposed to take like 40 minutes. I don't get it. And I have good internet connection, so whatever. But, um, to uh, the non subscribers that I have right now, see you later.